Hey everybody, welcome back. We are here in Amsterdam in the PMDG 777 300ER Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. We're going to go through every setting in the sim and see what affects what. I've seen videos done like this before only looking at FPS. It gives you some information, but it doesn't tell you the, the kind of the big picture. So we're going to do that today. If you look on the right hand side, we've got the FPS counter from dev mode at the top, obviously, is FPS right below FPS. You can see the main thread time, which is 17.7, 17.6 right now. And then all the way at the bottom in yellow is GPU memory or VRAM FPS. We will be looking at but main thread and VRAM use is really what's going to tell us the story of what's going on. First things first, let's look at TAA at a 100 render scaling. So you can see 57 frames per second. That's pretty good. 17 ish milliseconds on the main thread is pretty good. GPU memory hovering right around 10, which is pretty high. I mean, 10 out of 10.57 that I have available. I'm sorry that the FPS counter is so small but i can't make it any bigger by changing the screen resolution because that would render the test pointless so gpu memory is about 10 main thread is running about 17 and a half right now let's change this now to dlss dlaa which is not what i run but we'll see how that does and as you can see performance is quite similar to taa 57 17 and a half on the main thread and about 10 gigs of vram now let's go to DLSS quality, which is what I do run nowadays. FPS and main thread are about the same. VRAM is now 9.6. So it saves us almost a half a gig of VRAM. That's a pretty big change. Now let's take a look at DLSS performance. And this is almost exactly the same as DLSS quality. So 56, about 17 and a half on the main thread. 9.5 on vram so it saves you a little vram but not much here we are in princess juliana i have the base ultra settings with motion blur turned off i have the sum clouds preset weather so the weather will not change and affect our conditions and performance and i have live traffic on you can see fps is about 43 main thread is about 23 and vram at the bottom 9.566 it's been hovering right about that number the entire time now let's change some settings and see what effect they have the first thing we'll look at is terrain level of detail and we know this has a big impact on set on performance rather so let's set this to 100. looking here at the performance numbers fps is up a little bit main thread is down a little bit in other words, a little bit better. And VRAM is down about half a gig. So it's a pretty big VRAM savings. And what surprises me is I don't really see that much of a difference in the mountains off there in the distance between 200 and 100. I kind of figured I would, but I actually don't. We'll set that back to 200. And now let's set object level detail down to 100. As I suspected, this really doesn't have any impact on performance, FPS, main thread, or VRAM, pretty much all the same. We'll set that back to 200. And now let's try off-screen terrain pre-caching. We'll set that from high to, to low. I'm gonna go, go down two steps on each setting. This one surprises me as well. So you can see FPS and main thread are about the same. But look at VRAM, 9.096. That's about half a gig of VRAM, just changing this from high to low. I normally run this at medium. And what this is, is loading scenery off to the sides and top and bottom of what you're looking at. So when you turn your head, that scenery is already loaded. This saves about half a gig of VRAM, just turning this down two steps set this back to high now let's turn off displacement mapping now displacement mapping is a more detailed rendering of close terrain like rocks and kind of 
the grooves and the ups and downs and the terrain, that sort of thing. Let's turn that off and see what difference it makes. For this, FPS and main thread are the same. GPU memory is down about three tenths, almost three tenths of a gig. So that's a decent little savings right there to turn that off. Not sure if you're gonna notice that at all in your visuals, but it saves you a little bit of VRAM, which is nice. So we'll turn that back on and let's go down two steps on buildings. As you can see, this one doesn't really make any difference. FPS main thread about the same. VRAM is still coming down a little bit. Saves you a fraction of a gig of VRAM. I don't see any difference in the buildings that I'm looking at, but it doesn't really save you all that much. So this is one you can leave higher, I would say. Step this back to ultra and now trees. We'll come down to medium. This one is still settling, but again, FPS and main thread pretty much the same. VRAM pretty much the same. You see a little bit of a difference in the trees in the foreground. But again, I don't think this is one that you have to turn down to save anything because it really doesn't save you anywhere. We'll set this back to ultra. We'll go plants to medium more of the same here doesn't really make much of a difference anywhere fps main thread or gpu memory we'll set that back to ultra rocks will come back to medium very similar here main thread fps and vram all pretty much the same as we started out with we'll set this back to ultra We'll set grass to medium. Same story here. FPS main thread. VRAM all pretty much the same. We'll set this back to ultra. Now let's check volumetric clouds. This one might make a difference. So we'll go from ultra to medium. I find this one pretty interesting. I thought this would have a bigger impact. You can definitely see the visual change. The clouds look like cotton candy but fps main thread are the same gpu memory it saves you a little bit but really not much maybe a tenth at the most two tenths of a gig of vram in my opinion it's not worth the trade so we'll set this back to ultra and now texture resolution change this to medium and as I showed earlier, this one makes a big difference. VRAM is still going down. Main thread and FPS are about the same. Remember that our GPU memory, the baseline was about 9.5. Changing this setting, we're now at 7.9, 7.8, 7.7. So whatever it settles at, we're looking at round about two gigs of VRAMs saved here, which is what I found in previous testing. And in the cockpit, you're not gonna see much of a difference for this setting. To clarify one thing as well, people asked in the previous video that I did on this where I showed the difference that texture resolution has, a lot of people asked, do you need to restart the SIM to change these settings or to have the setting changes take effect? The answer to that question is no. That was only the case in Flight Sim 2020 when you were changing from DX11 to DX12 or vice versa. The rest of these setting changes, in other words, all of the setting changes in Flight Sim 24, you do not have to restart the SIM for them to take effect. So that one is massive. Let's change that back to Ultra. Anastropic filtering. We'll change this down two levels to times four. Here, FPS and main thread are about the same. VRAM is down, the, well, it's actually not. VRAM is right about the same, maybe down a hair, a tenth of a gig at most. This, this setting is not gonna make any difference. We'll set this back to, what is it, 16. Water waves. 
down two. And we have water here. Again, FPS and main thread pretty much the same. VRAM pretty much the same. It might come down a little bit more than it is right now. But you can definitely see the difference in the water quality. This is one that is not worth turning down. Back to high. Ray traced shadows. Turn that off. This is another one that people tend to think has a big impact. FPS and main thread, no impact there. VRAM, it saves us about two tenths of a gig, two and a half tenths of a gig. So, I mean, that's a, that's a, a worthy amount to consider changing this setting. This may still settle a little bit, but FPS, main thread, the same. VRAM starting to come down a tiny bit, but it's not going to be enough to make a difference. Not much of a change with this setting at all. We'll set this back to 1048, 2048. We'll go down two settings here on terrain shadows. Here again, FPS and main thread pretty much the same. VRAM pretty much the same. No real difference here. We'll set this back. Now contact shadows. Same story here. FPS, main thread, and VRAM pretty much unchanged. The, the VRAM may settle a little bit yet, but it's not going to make enough of a difference to warrant changing this. So this goes back to ultra. Windshield effects I'm not going to test because I would need some rain. So we'll just leave that where it is. Ambient occlusion down two settings same story here fps main thread and vram all around the same as the original values that we had so we'll set this back to ultra i don't know if you can set this down two levels you can let's try this same story here fps main thread and vram pretty much the same so we'll set cube map reflections back to where it was. Ray marsh reflections. Let's try medium. I'm a little bit surprised that this one didn't have more of an impact than it did. But again, FPS and main thread pretty much the same. GPU memory is exactly where it was when we started out. So no real impact here. We'll set this back to ultra. Light shafts medium and here main thread and fps about the same gpu memory it saves us maybe about two tenths of a gig so that's not too bad actually i would consider turning this one down we'll set this back to ultra depth of field i'm interested to see what this one does medium here fps and main thread about the same GPU memory, about 0 0.2 gigs of GPU memory. Not a whole lot, but these can start to add up. 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3, etc. can start to add up. So this does save you a little bit of VRAM. And we'll set this back to Ultra. For glass cockpit refresh rate, we're going to have to take a look in the cockpit. We'll do that one at the end. Character quality come down to for this one fps and main thread are about the same might save you a tenth of gpu memory tenth of a gig but remember in order to fly online and see other players when all players is set you do have to have this set to high or ultra and it actually looks like it saves you about 0 0.2 so maybe this one is worth changing, particularly if you don't fly online. Back to Ultra for that. Traffic airport quality, we'll go down two on this. This is static aircraft and ground traffic. And you can see the GPU memory saves you about a quarter of a gig. So about a quarter of a gig of VRAM. That's not too bad back to ultra there air traffic to medium 
I do have live traffic enabled, so I'm not sure how this would affect live traffic. And also remember that you have to have this at high or ultra if you are flying online to see other players. But FPS and main thread, pretty much the same. GPU memory looks like it comes down about 0 0.2. So this may be worth considering changing, especially if you use offline AI traffic. We'll set that back to ultra, change road traffic to medium, FPS and main thread here, pretty much the same. GPU memory down about two tenths. So that's a potential savings here. Back to ultra there, C traffic to medium, FPS, and main thread about the same. GPU memory, this one saves about 0.3 of a gig. So this is one that's worth potentially changing. Back to ultra. Last one is fauna, and this is animals. And yes, there are animals around Princess Julian Airport. FPS and main thread are the same. GPU memory is down about two tenths of a gig. So based on everything that we just went through, what I'm gonna do is the following. Off-screen terrain pre-caching, I'm gonna go medium. Displacement mapping, I'm gonna turn off. All of this stuff, I'm gonna leave alone. Texture resolution to medium, that's the big one. Ray traced shadows will come off. Then light shafts. Depth of field. Character quality. Traffic airport quality. Air traffic. Road traffic. And sea traffic all to medium. And let's see how this does. In the end, FPS and main thread are pretty much where we started. The big difference is VRAM, you can see at the bottom. We started at 9.549, we're now at 7.159. So we're looking about two and a half gigs of VRAM, and that will make a difference in your performance, no question about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, please leave them in the comment section below. Hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk soon.